The early, early line open with Dengano as a considerable underdog at plus 470. Anthony Joshua minus 550. Now the line is basically minus 400 on AJ and plus 300 on Francis Ngano. That's from our friends at MyBookie, as we said earlier, MyBookie.ag. Use the promo code ATLAS if you're going to make a first deposit over there, and they'll give you 50% credit on the first deposit. Deposit two grand, they'll give you another thousand to bet with. Um... What are you looking for here, and has the line affected your um, bet-making decision? It's going to be interesting. They were smart enough, <laughs> the first thing, not to get outside themselves. Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player for me of all time, used to say, never let yourself get ahead of the game. Don't get ahead of it. Don't get outside yourself. Don't get past yourself. Stay within yourself, <laughs> within the game. They didn't get ahead of themselves, they being and Ganyu's people. He he didn't do too much where he might have made mistakes being that inexperienced. He didn't do too much. He jabbed, he kept it simple, he kept it basic, and it allowed him to not make mistakes. Here's the thing it also did. It didn't allow him to win a decision because he kept it simple, he kept it basic, which I understand. I give him credit, but it didn't allow. He still won because by dropping him and making it, he won. That's why he's here. So he won the night, but he couldn't get a decision because he would have had to be a little busier. He would have had to use that jab that was terrific a little more and other punches behind it a little. And that would have been more risk for a guy who's not that experienced and more opportunity for Fury, who is experienced, maybe to catch him. Now, if he's in there to win, not just get paid, and I think he is. I think that's his nature. But if he's in there to win and not just get paid, he being in Ganyu, they have to take more risks this time. They're going to have to let their hands go a little more. And you got to remember, they still only have two pro fights. This is their second pro fights. So you're taking a risk. You're going outside the realm, outside maybe the, the script. If you do that, but I think if they want to win, they're going to have to do that. I think Joshua, for him, he's going to keep it simple in a way that he's going to use a jab. He's changed now. He's back a little bit. He's gotten some of his confidence back. He looked good in his last win, his his last fight. He's gotten, like I said, he's gotten... You know, what are they called? Your mojo? You know, he's gotten yep. his mojo back. Where I think he feels like the guy that used to be fighting before he lost to Ruiz. Where he's in charge. He's the best. He's going to be the boss. He's going to push guys back with that jab. He's a good puncher. He's going to put punches together. You know, he's, he's going he's gonna to be what he used to be. I think that his mentality of that is there, where he'll probably think that we can do it safely, properly, behind the jab. You don't want to get careless with a puncher like this, but we can push him back because a puncher can be negated. That power can be negated two ways, by moving all over the ring and making a miss and countering, controlling the outside, countering, pot shotting, setting traps, setting counters, or by pushing him back where he's not set to punch. I think that it's going to be a combination of Joshua and Ben Davidson, who's back with him, who's doing a good job with him. I think they're going to look to push and Ganyu properly without exposing themselves behind the jab, push him backwards, and not allow him to be set for the power. Um, I think they're also going to use the jab to sometimes step out and create traps with counter right hands, counter left hooks. Joshua was very capable of doing that. I think they're going to look to do that. They're going to have to be sharp all night because this guy can punch and he has the athleticism. And in particular, if I pick one area of athleticism, quickness. He, he can explode those hands quick, real quick. Even though he was plotting a little bit with his feet, he's got the athleticism where he could explode quick for a short little burst where I could see him catching Joshua going backwards maybe with something with a left hook again 
or with a counter if Joshua throws his jab from too close. Joshua's going to have to be on his P's and Q's. Uh, I, you know, his his thing is he's going to have to make sure gets ahead in the fight, controls the fight, and and then does not get careless for one second. Um, because we've seen Joshua hurt before. We've seen him knocked out before. With Ruiz, we've seen him hurt uh, before. So, you know, and this guy can hurt you. Uh, he he is a terrific puncher. At the end of the day, punches are born. They're not made. And this guy was born with power. He was born to be a puncher. This guy being in Ganyu. I think that... I think the noise level's just gone up. What do I mean by that? For the last fight, there was no expectations really on him. Now there's expectations on That's pressure. That's noise. That's a little pressure on Ngannou, a little bit. I think he can handle it. I think he's made up tough mentally. This is a guy who was homeless on the streets of France when he was trying to activate his MMA career. I mean, this is a guy who, you got to give him credit for his backstory, how he got there, what he survived, what he persevered from. You really do. You really do. And, that, and that's why he's there, because of that, because of what's inside him. Not just his power on the outside. But the first time he, he had an atmosphere calm enough where he could kind of paint by the numbers. Just paint by the numbers. I don't know. Now, if the noise level is amplified a little bit by Joshua and you're forcing a guy to do things maybe in a little bit more of a noisy atmosphere or, or what am I trying to say, chaotic, chaotic atmosphere, where you're making them react rather than being able to think about it. Where a guy who's only had two pro fights and you're going to just make him react, he's still not there. He's still not there to do that. So that's where I think you can have an edge. And there's one thing that at the end of the day, and then I'll give you my pick, that gives Joshua the biggest edge. Everyone's going to say his experience, all that. Yes. Yes. He, his confidence is back. Yes. But the biggest thing that going for Joshua that Fury did not have going is Nganyu against Fury had the element of surprise. Nobody knew how good this guy could be. That element of surprise is gone. Forewarned, foreprepared. Joshua has been warned. He's been warned. And he's now prepared. Not, And I'm not saying... Fury wasn't prepared. I don't think Fury was prepared mentally for what was going to take place. I think physically he was enough, but not mentally. Joshua will be prepared because he's been warned now. No element of surprise. Yep, that's right. That's a big thing. So give me the numbers. Give me the. Give me what my bookie says, and I'll give you my pick. So right now we've got um, Anthony, Anthony Joshua minus 400. Um, a, and Ngannou is plus 300. I think Joshua's going to win. Uh, like I said, there's a chance he gets caught. We know that. At the end of the day, I think he's going to win. But because the guy can punch, the guy is an athlete, the guy maybe has a little bit more wind in his cell than he even had before, that guy being Ngannou, after what he did with Fury, I I cannot help but put a peanut, you know, like Bill Krakenberg always says, you know, the the guy I talk about, my friend from Vegas who's a handicapper out there, and of course, Alan Boston, who's a legend, a legend. He uh, With the NCAA uh, college March Madness coming up, Alan Boston is a guy that was a legendary guy with college basketball picking, picking the games. So those two guys are guys that are friends of mine. <clears throat> I think of them when I use the term peanut. That's kind of like an insider term. I put a peanut on Nganyu by knockout. I think that what do you get back for Nganyu by knockout? Is there such a, a prop? Francis Nganyu by knockout, you get 400 back, plus 400. All right, I'm taking, I'm taking a peanut. I'm taking a, you know, 
I'm, t- I'm taking a, a a little play on that. I uh, and Ganyu, how can I say no to that? It doesn't have to be a big play. I'm taking a little play on and Ganyu uh, by knockout at plus four hundred, right? Plus four hundred, you said. Yep. Yep. Correct. And yep. then I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little play on my on the over. What is the over line? Okay, I can give you the over under. I can give you first. Yeah, if, over. Will under. the fight go the distance? Over. Under. Will the fight go the distance? Okay. Okay. Yeah. If if you think the fight's gonna go the distance, you can get one sixty five back. If you want to take the someone wins by knockout minus two forty, that it does not go the distance. All right, I'm gonna take lay lay in two and a half. All right, I'm, I want to get that one sixty right. You plus one sixty that. It, it's gonna go the distance. One sixty five. Well, yeah, right, one sixty five. Yeah, don't goes cheat the me distance. of that nickel. All right, I'm gonna nope. take the distance. It's gonna go the distance. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna back myself up. I'm gonna get one sixty five going the distance. I'm gonna back myself up, protect myself with a knockout by Enganyu. Mm-hmm. And you know, I would like to put a play on. Joshua by decision, but to win, not by you know, just to win. How, how, what would I lay? Joshua, Joshua I, by de- yeah. Joshua by decision, you get back two hundred and ten dollars plus two ten. AJ by decision. Yeah, I, so I don't even have to mess with that because if I just take decision, I'm getting one sixty five. I'm better off doing that. This way, I don't have to be yep. right with the side. So I'm gonna do that. That's exactly right. Yeah, I'm gonna just take the plus one sixty five going the distance, whoever it is, and I'm gonna take a little play on and Ganyu, uh to score a knockout and and get plus four hundred. You know, and and that's it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play it safe enough, close enough to the vest, where without too much of uh, because of the great lines that my book is offering me, without too much of a risk, I have a shot to make you know, uh, to make a few bucks. So I think I'm gonna. I'm, I I don't want to lay the. What would I have to lay if I straight up just took Joshua to win? Uh, what would I have to five hundred or somewhere in that neighborhood? Uh, my um, it keeps moving around. It's anywhere from minus four hundred to minus six hundred. It keeps moving around. Yeah, that's all right. Um, Let it keep moving. Let it move away fu- from me because yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm not laying that. Uh, you know, if it wasn't that big, I would. But I'm not laying that. I'm taking the two props that my bookie offers me that I just said, and I think I'm. I, I feel pretty good about that. 